Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Asia D and I'm here with another video. I'm back, I'm back, whatever. How y'all doing today? Um, I hope everyone is having a great day today. Today I am getting my nails done. I have a 4.30 nail appointment and I need to go to the mall only because I have a photo shoot and I need to find like a one piece bodysuit and I also need to find some black heels. This Sunday, me and my friend are going to G5. Jada Wade is having a hosting there or whatever. G5 is like a strip club in Miami. She's having a hosting there so I cannot wait. And I just need some black heels because I do have some but I feel like the ones that I have when I go like right with the outfit. And I keep playing with my hairs because I just curled it. So I'm trying to kind of just brush the curls out. But I didn't do my makeup yet. I'm going to do like a light makeup. But I don't really know. I have some time. So we'll see how it goes. But I feel like I have time to do my makeup. When I get to nail place, I hit you guys up. I was going to do my toes today as well. But honestly, like I should have woke up earlier. I need to get in the habit of waking up earlier in the morning so I can um, get more done in my day. But to be honest, like I don't like getting my nails and my toes done in the same day. Like I just hate like just sitting and waiting. And plus like now I go to like a different nail spot and I go to another spot to do my toes. Only thing when I go get my toes done, they take forever. So I didn't want to go and be waiting really long and miss my nail appointment because I just want to get that out of the way. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. So I decided I was going to come on here and show you how I do like a quick little out the house type of glam just on the run. So I already went ahead and primed my face with this Bite Game Changer Optimizing Primer. This is for normal to dry skin tone, so it's really like a moisturizer. I already added some, but whatever, I'll add more. I don't know, for me, I feel like my face looks a little red. I don't know if you can see in this area, it looks a little red. I went ahead and like toned my face earlier with this toner from Tarte and it literally made my skin itch. So I don't think I'm gonna be using that. I'll probably need to buy a new one. So this should just be like a glam look that I would put on if I'm just running errands out the house, but I still wanna look, you know, a little fresh but not overly done. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Makeup Forever foundation. And I'm focusing that more on the center of my face and bring it outwards. And I literally use the slightest bit. As you can see, I'm more like doing swiping motions instead of like just um, dabbing it all over. Like I'm dabbing and swiping too. So it's kind of like you just want a flush of color and you can put a little bit on the forehead, like a tiny bit. I feel like I have more like um, pigmentation marks on my forehead, so you could focus a little bit more there if you want to. That's it, you have a little coverage, but it's not too much. And then I'm gonna go in with my Milani concealer and I'm doing like the slightest bit, not too much. Okay, so it's 3.31, the place is really close by. So notice with this look, I'm not being like super precise, like I'm blending things out, but I'm kind of being like a little bit more messy with it versus like if I were to just contour my nose, I'd be like this and like really focused in the middle. I just kind of like, you see what I did. So next I'm going to take a little powder foundation from Bare Minerals. You, you just apply it more lightly. If you use a stippling brush, it applies your product um, less finer. If you use a more dense brush, obviously it's going to, obviously it's going to Put it on a little bit more thicker, but if you use a brush with less bristles, it'll pick up less product. So I'm gonna be taking the Sephora foundation powder. It's all cracked, so I can't even show you like, well, I can't show you, look at that, it looks pretty bad. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna grab this Morphe brush, it's the M438 brush. It's like small and tapered. Before I set underneath my eyes, let me just blend it out a little bit more. But honestly, I feel like I need a little bit more concealer. 
just a little bit more. There we go. And I'm not letting this concealer like sit and dry like I usually would. I feel like it's an eyelash in my eyelid bomb. Okay, got it. Because it was just annoying the shit out of me. But yeah, I'm excited because I haven't been out in a while, guys. I'm excited to go out this Saturday. Well, not this Saturday, sorry, this Sunday. I keep getting it mixed up. I don't know what I'm thinking. And I'm just focusing that product in the middle. Basically, pretty much where I highlighted. And I'm gonna take the same stippling brush and dip that in there. But I'm gonna go on the side here. Because I still like this area to be a little bit brightened and defined. It just makes my jaw bones stand out more. All right, so now we're gonna contour, warm up the face a little bit. I'm gonna be using Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. Cause she's warm, but she's not like too warm. It's like a very subtle, Type of contour. You see that? Subtle. And then I'm gonna use that same bronzer and just contour my nose a little bit. Boom. So now we're gonna brush up our brows just a little bit. And I like to wipe off the brow. You know the products. I'm gonna use a little powder on my brows. This is from the Brow Girl by Tyner Crooks. This Morphe brush that I'm using is a Morphe M3, wait, M432. And like I said, these are like kind of like effortless brows. They don't have to be super defined. You just wanna look like you didn't really try. I really enjoy doing my brows as powder because I feel like it just gives it that like, I just got my brows done type of look. Like real effortless. I like that. I'm taking the same concealer that I used to highlight my under eye earlier. I don't really use this color too often because it's like really similar to my skin tone. So I don't use this really to brighten. Like this is more for like my natural makeup days. I'm gonna put on some mascara and I'm gonna do lashes too, of course. I'm not sure where I got these lashes from. My client gave them to me. I put in some clipping extensions for her and I guess they came with these, but she gave them to me. Cause she was like, girl, you know how to put on lashes. So I was like, I'll gladly take these off your hands. I'm not putting on my lashes on camera cause you guys know that is just a whole headache. Am I gonna do a little liner? Yes, I am, but I'm gonna do that after my lashes are on. These lashes are decent. I feel like they're crooked. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna leave it because, like I said, I'm just going to get my nails done. It's not that deep, I guess you could say. But I am gonna walk with some lash glue with me and tweezers just in case my lashes do fall off. Oh, and wing liner so I can touch up. The lip liner, you already know. <laughs> This Bittersweet by MAC. I kind of wear the same type of lip combos. They might be different products, but they're usually like the same type of product. It's like 358. And this gloss is just so cute. I wish my friend would bring it back, but you know. I just had to find a really good dupe for it. Now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm gonna use this Milani one. This highlighter is so pretty. It'd be a shame how like I have so much like makeup products and I take so long to use them. But when I get to them, it's lit. I'm just cleaning off a little mascara I had at the bottom. You guys know I don't like nothing at the bottom of my eyes right there. I'm gonna contour my nose just a little bit more cause I feel like it kind of disappeared. and a little bit more of that Sephora powder. I feel like I get um, oilier in that area quicker. So pretty much this is it. This is how we're walking into our nail appointment today, babes. <laughs> Super cute, really just casual. I feel like this lash is messing with me. Yeah, I need to fix that little corner there. It's not, I'm not gonna um, be able to think straight, knowing that it's just hanging right there. So I basically just took the end of like a spoolie brush, put a little glue on it, and then put it on the lash line, on the lash band, and I wait till that gets a little tacky, then I just pop it into place. And I love this cute little like makeup pouch. Um, I actually got this from Origins. It came with like a little mascara in there, like a little gift or whatever. But I like it because you can put all your, your little makeup products in there. It fit my glue, my lip gloss, eyeliner, all going in there, tweezer. And sometimes I like to take my beauty blender with me or like a clean beauty blender. But the one I like to take with me, I don't, this is like the June and Co sponge. I like to take it with me so that way I could just like blot on my face when I get oily. So that's a little hack that you could do. Now I'm just gonna take a comb, brush through these curls a little bit because I feel like they're still like bouncy whatever it's 406 so I'm literally about to leave the house like I said it's close by let me pop my lash on now because I feel like the glue is like dry now see now it's on there and I'm just gonna take a little bit more liner and then reline it oops something so there we go, that's looking better. Okay, so let me just show you what I have on real quick. It's really nothing much. Like I said, I'm going to run some errands, so I just want it really cute and comfortable. Um, cute little necklace from Gold Presidents. I will link that down below. I was feeling really casual today, so I just wanted to put on this two-piece, the jogger set from Fashion Nova. There's a cute little hoodie in the back, and then they have like the yoga pant style. And I just wore it with my fuzzy Fashion Nova slides or whatever. And because I'm vlogging today and I have a lot of stuff to carry around, I wanted to wear my Calvin Klein bag. So that's what it looks like. It's just like a, I know what you call this, it, like a man bag. <laughs> but yeah, it's real chill. Guys, I'm about to head on out. Let's pick a fragrance today. Like, what are we gonna wear? Hmm. It's daytime on it smells light and pretty. I'm gonna be wearing the Burberry hair because she just smells really, really good. 
really pretty. I'm mostly spraying my hair. I feel like that's where it tends to last the longest. But yeah, that smells really pretty. I think I'm gonna like take that one with me to go. I don't have this in the travel size. I need to get this in the travel size. But like I said, I'll be going to the mall later as well. So we'll get um a bodysuit if I can't find a bodysuit and I want to find some black heels. More like kitten style. Like I'm really into that kitten style lately. So um I'm probably gonna stop at all those. Shout out to my girl Vanita at Beautiful Botox. She's one of my clients, but she also does Botox, fillers, Kybella, all that stuff. She gave me these lashes and they're just super cute. And I will link her Instagram down below if you guys want to check her out. She's really, really dope. So also was just thinking since I'm gonna be at the mall anyway, should I just go ahead and get my toes on there? Because like, I'm already gonna be there, you know? So we'll see, we'll see. I'm about to go now because I don't wanna be late. It's already 4.15, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, so I'm kinda annoyed because like, we, I just left the nail spot and basically I have to reschedule the appointment pretty much. Um, the nail tech ended up coming like a little bit later. I booked an appointment for tomorrow and I did pay a deposit. So um, I'm gonna like go to the mall right now and just finish up what I have to do for the day. But she was just kind of giving me like the price and stuff of how much everything will be. It's gonna be like $70, which is not bad. I got the French tip, but I got V cut. I was kind of debating like, should I do my nails over there at the mall? But to be honest, I do not really like how they do my nails over there. They never get it right. It's just always an issue. I'm just probably gonna do my toes today definitely then since i have time i'm already be over there so i think what i'm gonna do is go look for the bodysuit and stuff first and then go get my toes done and i will just be that oh yeah and i gotta get the heels too so i um, gotta make sure i don't forget that but it's crazy because like, i was in there and the girl was asking me like it's okay she's like oh did i get my body done or whatever and i was like yes they were like oh who do you go to so you know i'm just giving like the whole specs and stuff like and everybody's just always just looking at me and i'm just like oop but um I don't really care about stuff like that. Like, I look good, so I don't really care. They're like, yeah, you look good, girl. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> they actually switched locations, so it's funny because when I was looking for the place, I was like, uh-uh, this is not it. Like, this looks so different. But the GPS took me to a different location, which is still close by to my house. So that was just the store. They just called me to say, like, basically, if I don't make it to my appointment tomorrow, I'm on time. I, I forfeit my um, deposit. So I'm not trying to lose out my $25 deposit, baby, because <laughs> no. So I'm gonna make sure I leave the fucking house on time tomorrow. Like I'm not playing that shit. So you gonna see us back here again tomorrow. Hi right, y'all, so I just got to the mall. I'm about to go look for those body suits right now. And the last thing I'm gonna do is do my toes. Cause I, I don't like to rush when I'm shopping. So that's why I'm gonna go there first. Just in case the mall closes. Well not closes, but you know, like I said, I'm like shopping last minute when the stores are about to close. It smells so good in here like coffee. I just walked past the Starbucks. There's some cute shade. But yeah, we about to go shopping so I will see y'all when I get to the store or whatever. I'm gonna check Charlie Reese first. I don't know where else. Let's see. Ooh, let me go to Aldo's first because it's, it's some shoes in there that I might want to get. These are really cute. I actually like these. Ooh, and they got a nude. Oh my god, I love nude. I don't know which one to get. And these are cute too. I've been wanting some shoes like these. So they didn't have my size in those shoes, guys. So um, I am gonna look in solid roof right now. They don't have music playing in here, so I feel like it's fine. I can um recording here well actually they do have music but it's not like super loud Ooh, i know i'm gonna find a bodysuit in here because they always got bodysuits like they already got some look super cute this is cute like a little new bodysuit but i need it in black i need to have black Ooh, i found the right one i was looking for long sleeves turtleneck or mouth neck black and like the thong kind. So they have them. These are real cute. I'm gonna get all the colors. So they got all the neutral colors here, guys. All right, let's, let's get into it. Cause I did order one from Amazon, but I'm scared it don't fit. And I don't like the material of it. I thought the material was gonna be different, but it's it's not. All right, y'all, let me um, focus. Cause I can't hold this thing in my hand and at the same time okay so i found some really cute stuff in here like 
mostly basic. And they have some really cute like hoodie sacks, however, like it's a sizing that's a little bit off for me. Like they don't have, um, you know how they have sex, but some of the bottoms may be sold out. They have this really, really cute one that reminds me of the Kim Kardashian, like skin type of, um, what is that, the little sweat piece or whatever. But it's fine. I didn't try my size. The girl told me that it was all sold out. I need to get a cute face mask. Preferably like black or something. And get this one, this one's cute. I'm gonna get one because what if they suck, you know? I'm about to join the line and then hit up another spot and see. I got a really, really good deal, guys. I got those four body suits for only $38. I'm about to go in the store. It's called Windsor. I found these really cute heels that I could possibly wear. Um, I like this type of height, but these are childish, to be honest. These are some cute red boots. I don't own any red boots. That's like on my list, but I don't really like these. They make your feet look long. So I'm happy I got the body suits for my photo shoot. I'm just waiting on her to bring the shoes to me. Okay, so I like the shoes that I just tried on. I just asked her if she could hold them for me because I'm gonna look in one more store. Um, well, actually two more stores. It's like two other shoe stores I wanna look at. And if I don't like no shoes on there, then I'll just go back and get those. I'm getting kind of hungry. Literally all I have was a smoothie today. I just left um, papaya. I picked up two dresses from papaya. They're real cute. When I get home, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. After this, I'm just looking around because I found this really cute dress. So now I'm thinking like, should I just get some really like tall, like knee high boots to wear with the dress and a cute little, you know, moment like dress and a boots. That's what I'm thinking, but I need to find those boots. I don't know, I might go back to the shoe stores and look again. But yeah, I'm in the store and I'm gonna check in with y'all later. I'm getting hungry, I need to get some food. All right, you guys, I'm about to head home because I didn't know why I was thinking the mall just closed regular hours at nine o'clock, but they closed at seven today. So I didn't get to get my toes done, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so we will try this again literally tomorrow, but at least we got something. I got like two little I got some stuff like y'all will see when I get home. Hey you guys. So it's literally midnight and I'm back Um, I didn't just get home Obviously I got home and I made something to eat then I kind of took care of a couple of things around the house Then I decided I was gonna just relax a little bit and then I decided I was gonna take a shower because your girl was tired I had to take off my makeup and just unwind I already did my skincare routine, which I'm not gonna show you guys obviously in this video however um i'll do a totally separate video for that but i just want to show you guys what i got from the mall today getting those boots was not successful i did not find those boots and you know what's crazy i went to autos and i tried on those boots and they were really cute however they did not even go past my calves i think i need to get not thigh high not knee high i need to get just the ones that you know stop a little bit above your ankle that's not my highly babes but yeah let's not um ramble because i have to get up early in the morning my mom wants me to bleach and knock on one of her wigs for her because she has to get her hair done. Yeah, and then I have to get to my nail appointment. I do not want to be late. I was like seven minutes late, but that's not why I didn't end up getting the nails done. It's because she was late. So by the time she came, she had other clients obviously waiting on her. So it kind of just pushed everything back. All right, so I just had to situate myself and, you know, get in my position, my usual filming area. Okay, so let's get into it. I actually got some little cute stuff and I was pleased. It starts with a little, you know, not so fun stuff. I got this really cute mask. This is 100% cotton. It's just basically it has some like rhinestones on it. It's for dazzle. I feel like this is cute. Like, you know, when you're just trying to make a moment. And it's actually pretty thick. It's like cloth material. The mask was literally $2.70. Like... You cannot go wrong. And then the mask was buy one, get one a dollar. But then they also had like, they also gave me like this 10% off. So everything was like half off. 
or whatever the case may be plus they had extra 10 percent off so technically it was like 60 percent off but yeah i got like a lot of i got a good amount of pieces for only 38 dollars and then pretty much i picked up this mask right here it's just pink cheetah print and this is cute and this is also um this one is polyester and spandex and then it has the like little ear hooks this one has the little um that adjustable band to it which is really nice yeah. bands like this pretty much you could just pull it i picked up those two things because you know when you're going out sometimes you want a cute little mask to have pretty much got like a lot of basics um i got this really cute like tank top it's just a white tank top it's ribbed it has it's like that rib material and i got this in the size medium so it's just a cute little tank top you could wear with like leather leggings you could wear with regular leggings anything cute like that it's just a little basic white top and i feel like i wear white tank tops first more versus than i wear black they did have black but i didn't grab those so y'all know i was get like pretty much looking for body suits for this photo shoot or whatever and i i like going in person and trying certain stuff on because I just know the way like I'm shaped, it's like I'm small on top again at the bottom, so I need to make sure like things to really fit me when I do shop. So I got this really nice bodysuit. This one is so cute. It is a nude, like a camel color. It's also that ribbed material, which is really nice and stretchy. It's really good quality. It's really soft, and it, basically the bottom of the the um bodysuit is like this right here. It has little clamps. So it's like a thong in the back. I like this because I got a big booty. So I need to give my baby some room. And then it has a little mock neck. So I picked that up. And I felt like when I like something, I have to get it in all the colors. So, of course. This is the one I'll be wearing for the photo shoot. This one is so cute. Basically, I got them all in the same color. So I got basic colors that I like to wear. I didn't get white because I don't really like wearing white too much like i really don't trust myself with white but this is really good quality it's super stretchy it's not see-through anything and it's also that rib material picked up one in gray as well the gray one feels like a thicker quality um than the other materials but nonetheless it's still good like this one feels just a little bit more thicker and i also picked that up in a medium but yeah also mock neck like this this gray one really just feels like a different material oh you guys this robe I don't know if you guys even care, but it's really, really soft. It's like the most comfortable robe I've ever slept in. And yes, slept, cause I literally sleep in this robe, no lie. It has a cute little hoodie in the back. Really nice pocket, so I like to put my phone in there. <laughs> my phone, my beauty blender, you know, just little things that I carry around. And yeah, it's lit. So if you like this cute little plush, lush robe, I will link it down below. I got it on Amazon, but it is amazing. When you first get it, you gotta wash it a couple times because it gets really, really fuzzy. It has that annoying fuzz that gets everywhere. But after a few washes, um, we're good to go. I just wanna mention this because this is just so soft and I just showered and it just feels so good on my skin. But yeah, then I picked up this color here. It's like a cream off-white type of color. And guys, these were literally, I paid $7.19 each for these, like, Come on. Ever since the Charlotte Roos, the original Charlotte Roos closed down and they reopened and stuff and they rebranded, they just be having a lot of sale and like really good pieces. They had a lot of really, 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 really cute like um, sweatsuits, like with the jacket, the hoodie, and then like the sweatpants. But I felt like, damn, like all the cute colors, obviously they be sold out. All the popular sizes were sold out. So I didn't pick up any because I didn't feel like the ones that they had, like I really needed. But like, I like, you know, like basic colors like these, like black, beige, <laughs> so cute. And they feel so soft, love it. Tomorrow I have to go back to the mall because I need to go get my toes done. I didn't end up getting my toes done because the mall closes at seven and I didn't even know that. Like I really thought they closed normal time, nine o'clock. So I didn't get to. And then, oh my God, I absolutely love, I'm so happy I went. So papaya, don't be sleeping on papaya either because I feel like papaya and like a lot of those places, they do have like things that you could literally find on Fashion Nova. They just branded differently and they're probably not as popular because you know, Fashion will be more mainstream now. But I got this really cute ribbed. It's like a tank top type of dress, but it's midi. It stops like, a, like above the knee. Let me get up and show y'all. So basically this is it right here. It's so cute. And then it zips down, really zips down like that. 
it's just real cute and i love the material to be honest i was debating like what size i want to get i like i tried the white on and the small i tried the white on and the medium and i kept going back and forth back and forth but me like i'm that type of girl like i'll try on something in the store but just know i'm going back over to the rack and i'm getting the same size but just not trying on like i'm really that girl like i'm like okay if i put this on in the fitting room just know i'm going back to the rack and getting a fresh new one even though i tried it on it's like i just want a new one that hasn't been worn yet so when i do put it on it's like you know it's like fresh freshly stretched if that makes sense I don't know, are you like that? Cause I'm like that. And like, if I go shopping, like if something's in the front, I never grab the one that's in the front. I was grabbing the one that's in the back or like in the middle. Girl, I don't know if that's just me. Then I have to get it in black, of course, cause black is everything. Like black is just like a staple. And black goes anything. They have like um silver detailing on there, like silver zippers. It's real, real cute. This is it right here. And yeah, I just love this rib material because it really hugs your body. So I picked up those two, black and a white. I paid $19.99 each for them. And with Charlie Ruth, all their dresses are final sale. I'm not sure why, but I don't know. Maybe people be like returning stuff all the time. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I got. And yeah, that was it. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm really thinking about just putting like my nails and my toes on in this video. So y'all are just going to see that. So this is going to be like the next day so yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this vlog if you enjoyed spending a little bit day with me although we didn't get our nails done today we're gonna get our nails done tomorrow so yeah the video's not really over yet i'm just saying good night because your girl's tired i'm about to go lay down like i said i need to be up early in the morning and i want to work on on you know like going to bed earlier and waking up earlier just so i can get more done in my day you know so I got a four o'clock nail appointment and I need to get that done. And I, you know what I really want to do? I want to wake up early to the point where it's just like, I wake up early, I get to the gym. Um, the gym opens at 10.30. So wake up early, go to the gym, do my makeup, you know, get dolled up or whatever. Um, and also another thing I'm working on on 2021 is really just getting the habit of just doing my makeup just because because i really used to do that when i was you know back in the day whatever i just used to just do my makeup i was gonna say when i was younger but really girl i'm 25 like i'm really not that old but yeah basically when i was younger pretty much just doing my makeup just because and just really like getting dolled up because i feel like when you look good you feel good and you just have a more positive mindset. So yeah, that's what I wanna really do. So I just been getting in the habit of doing that. And yeah, it's crazy because I stopped at the, okay, so real quick. I stopped at the mat counter earlier to um, see one of our friends and basically they were saying like, they're hiring or whatever the case may be at the counter cause it's gonna be empty, da 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 I wouldn't say like, I always wanna work for Mac. At first, like before getting into like the whole cosmetic industry and stuff, I did want to work for Mac. I feel like Mac is not as hype as they used to be. Like, yeah, working for Mac is good, but I don't know. But it's, I'm not opposed to it. So basically, like they were just saying, like they're hiring or whatever. So I'm really like thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So yeah, I will see y'all in the morning. I am done rambling. I just, as I just came to my mind, like, ooh, should I apply? Like, give me a little part time job or whatever there. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. But yeah, see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night. Don't let the bed buzz bite. <laughs> hey you guys, what's up? Good morning. It's the next day. Well, technically it's not morning. It's like 1.55. And I just did my baby hairs. I took my wig off last night because I don't know why. Like usually, well sometimes I don't take it off, but last night I took it off because I just wanted to. Um Took it off. I redid my baby hairs this morning. I was gonna go to the gym early this morning. However, uh, when I woke up this morning, I just had so much things to do around the house. Yeah, you guys know like my grandfather's staying with me. So sometimes like I have like just stuff to do, like, you know, help him out, like maybe just like clean up the kitchen, you know, whatever the case may be. I really have to like do that because I don't like seeing um dirty dishes in the kitchen. That's like a pet peeve of mine. Like I just hate it. I hate like a clustered kitchen. I'm about to do my makeup real quick. I'm not gonna show you guys this part because you pretty much already seen it. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna come back. My nail appointment today is at four. So yeah, I'm about to do that. I really wasn't gonna put on no makeup today because I was like, mm. And then my friend just told me like, we might have to make a nail, a, a, well, an appointment to get um like pedicures or whatever because of the COVID and stuff like that. So I was just gonna do a walk-in at the mall for my toes, but 
um, I might have to make an appointment. So I'm gonna call. So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all later when I'm out and about. And I hope everyone's having a great day today. Hey Pooh, how are you? I'm back. Um, I'm fully dressed. I did decide to like do my makeup just a little bit more glam. I don't know, I was in that mood because I know I'm gonna get my nails done and I'm gonna just look really cute with the whole freaking outfit and it's just gonna be like a whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. Um, I still have on my flip flops because obviously I need to get my toes done today, hopefully. Well, that's what I'm pushing for. I need a call still to see if they have appointments, but I wanna do it like after I get my nails done. This jumpsuit, to be honest, I got this at the thrift store for $5 and it was brand new. It still had the tags on it and everything. I still have this stain on here from when I spilled, when I spilled oil on my damn shirt. So that's just gonna be there. And yeah, it's gonna be annoying. When I get to the nail place, I will um, let you know. But yeah, this makeup is real cute. The lashes are the same ones from yesterday. I just did a more like cattier wing. For my nails, I'm getting um, like French tip, but I'm getting V cut. But I'm getting like the coffin shape or like the square shape. I'll show you guys a picture. It's gonna be really, really, really cute. I cannot wait. And I just have on these. Um, rings right here, these finger rings. I got these like a, so many years back. I got this at Love Culture. It's a little accessory clothing place, whatever. And I just have on my JBW watch. Super cute, super, super, super cute. Um, yeah, let me give you guys a full body moment. So this is what I'm giving today it's real cute and my fragrance I already put some on i actually wore the burberry hurt again today also added this ysl perfume as well just you know a cute little combo today and yeah i'm out guys oh gosh <laughs> So y'all, I'm at this restaurant getting some food to eat. It's a Colombian restaurant in Market. It's super good, so I'm about to get some food. I'm hungry as hell. I just got my nails done. This is a menu. I don't know what I'm getting yet. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I already know. I'm gonna get the pollo con camarones, and it basically has like chicken. Shrimp, peppers, onions, rice, beans, and salad with french fries. Hey, how are you? Let me tell them I'm ready to order. Nah, I literally really didn't eat all day. Like, all I had was a cup of tea and a granola bar. That's literally it. Hey, how are you? How are you? One more please. No problem. But my nails are so cute, y'all. I have my this is the menu. I love Colombian food. Latin food is like one of my favorites. Yeah, I'm not Caribbean, so the rice, the beans, the chicken, all that is good to me. I ended up ordering my food and then I got a cafe con leche because I haven't had like caffeine or a coffee in a really long time. And y'all know Colombian coffee is really good, so that's what I'm having. I didn't try it, yet, but I will. <laughs> I gotta record it first. So I took my mask off because it's time to eat. And I'm excited because the food looks so, so good. Like. I'm excited. I just can't wait. I can't wait. So I'm about to do that. I'm about to try the food right now. I'm gonna see what it's hitting for. It just looks so good. And they give you a lot of food. It's like a lot of food. What is your name? Asia. Hmm? Asia. Asia. Like Asia. Yeah. yeah. Santiago. Hmm? Santiago. Santiago. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. How's your day going? Beautiful. 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 Thank you. Oh. Thank. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me see. Really good. Mm. This is really good. Nice. I love it. Y'all, this food is so good. Like, 
Ooh, I want to kill it. Hey, y'all. So, I just got back inside the house. And to be honest, I just wanted to come home and, like, fuck my food up. Like, I really just wanted to go, like, <laughs> Cause you know when you're in like a public area, it's like you wanna, you wanna fuck your food up. It's real good, but it's like, um, you not trying to be like that girl, you know, in public. Like you just wanna be like real cute, prissy, like. <laughs> but baby, when you <laughs> literally, and it's funny because I was by myself. It's just like the guy, um that was like the server or whatever he kept giving me compliments and stuff but i don't really speak spanish but i did take spanish in high school for like literally two years and i passed with flying colors boo um so yeah i understood him so he kept you know saying, like muy 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 hermosa like and i was like gracias gracias and he was like oh what is your name and i was like asia because you know like asia in spanish is asia so he was like, mmm. He's like, me llamo Santiago. I was like, oh, nice to meet you, Santiago. Hey. Like, the way he was doing it, you could have sworn he was about to give me a free meal, baby. <laughs> but um, that didn't happen. It's still kind of early. It's like literally like 6.47. But I wanted to go to the mall today. However, like, my nails took really long. It literally took like two hours. So, yeah. And she kept like taking like little breaks in between. Actually, a little bit over two hours to be honest because my point was for four, but she didn't really get started till like 4.20. But yeah, my nails are real cute. I definitely will go back to them again. I've been to them before and I got some really cute nails from them. But I had one to a girl named Nikki. This time I went to Dolly. So basically like um, Dolly and Alexis, their mother and daughter, they own a salon and they're bomb. Like it's so down to earth, very chill. Like real homegirlish, you know, but yeah. I hadn't eaten all day, so I was like literally starving, like to the point where I was just sitting there, like I'm getting hangry. I'm not even angry at y'all. Like I'm just angry that I'm fucking hungry. So you know, normally I wouldn't care, but the fact that I was sitting there so long, it was like no. It was either I was gonna get something to eat or I was gonna go home because the mall closed at seven. So by the time I was done, like I literally had like an hour to get to the mall. I was like, 20 minutes away from the mall. Um. It was just not gonna happen. But yeah, I'm so happy I got some nails now. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's my happy twerk. Thank you for spending the last two days with me because it was definitely a journey. Tomorrow I'm gonna get my toes done and I'll probably include it in this vlog as well. So it'll literally like a three day mission to get our nails and our toes done. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for supporting. I will tag like the nail place down below. I will tag any other information that I think y'all might need down below. So always, always check the description box, okay? Comment a unicorn if you made it this far. Put a unicorn emoji if you made it this far to the end of the video. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see y'all, bye. Hey you guys, so I literally just woke up like I usually come on with a fresh face, eyebrows brushed up, moisturized, whatever. But I just woke up and I'm doing some laundry right now. Don't ever do this, but I fell asleep with my makeup on last night. And it wasn't the fact that I fell asleep with the makeup on. It was more so the fact that I literally had my lashes on within two. Like, I'm really sad about it because, girl, look at my lashes. They're terrible. Like, look at them. They got all, like, crusty and just... They got all crusty and it's just not the vibe. So, yeah. Today I have to go to the gym because I missed two days in a row at the gym. And that's just not cool. I usually try to go every other day. So, I have my hot cup of tea right here because y'all know I'm island. It's food. So, I always drink a hot cup of tea in the morning. I drink a lot of water. Um, I feel like it gets my bowels moving and... You know, it just gets everything going in your system. I am going to freshen up, wash my face. I'm gonna do like a mask today on my face because I, like I said, I slept with my makeup on, so I don't want any um, like breakouts or anything like that. I'll be trying to keep my skin as clean as possible. I really wanna invest into a Clarisonic really, 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 really soon. I already had two in the past, but after my last one broke, I, didn't repurchase another one because I felt like wow like I spent like two three hundred on this thing and I only got to use it like a year or two I don't know 
I just be thinking like that. Like, I wish I would have, it would have had like a longer lifespan or whatever the case may be. But it's a really good spin brush. And what I like about it, it doesn't spin, it just kind of vibrates. So, yeah, I'm about to drink my tea, finish up my laundry. Um, we got to get our toes done today. That's final. Like, it's Saturday. We are going out tomorrow. So, I'm not waiting till literally tomorrow to try to get my toes done i hate when i have to go somewhere and it's the same day and i'm trying to run around and get like all this stuff done unless it's something really really simple i don't mind but if it's like a whole production then i i rather not and i still have to like go find those boots so i'm trying to think like should i go back to the same mall or should i just go to a completely different mall but i don't know i don't know i'm thinking about all of this i have a couple calls to make because i do have um some clients that I need to, you know, just organize and schedule some appointments with and grab their deposit, discuss pricing. So, you know, businesswoman first. But those are like my top things I have to get done today. I might come back on here when I do a little mask just to show y'all, um, just to show y'all like what I do. Yeah, cause I wanna give y'all a skincare routine, but I wanna wait till I have like every single thing. I, I'll just wait till I have every single thing, okay? So I'm back. I had to moisturize my face because it was a little dry and I did near my mustache. So we're nice and smooth. I already came back from the gym. I ate and stuff. So I'm really happy about that. I ate breakfast and I ended up eating lunch. So y'all know like I've been kind of busy these past few days. So I really haven't been eating on time. And I don't like when that happens. I like to make sure like I'm, I'm fed and stuff because I get headaches when I don't eat on time. Yeah, um, I just blow dried this hair. I didn't curl it today. I blow dried it and then I just took the hot comb. Just took the hot comb and kind of just choo -choo -choo -choo. so lay flat. So I put on a little mascara and a little lip gloss. No makeup today because I did sleep in my makeup last night and I ain't like that. I just felt like my face needed a little breather, especially because tomorrow I'm gonna be wearing makeup and stuff like that. But I kind of left the nair on a little bit too long, as you can see in this area. So it's a little bit irritated. That's another reason why I'm not wearing makeup, but I did use this oil on my skin. I'm gonna show you guys, like I really love this oil. It's from a company called Healing Girl. It is their Healing Girl Drops. Um, I also use their Fluff Fairy Drops for my booty. In my hip area it gives you like a really nice you know fuller growth and stuff like that not too much but it just gives you a natural enhancement so like your um hips and your booty and stuff like that but this is the oil and i will link it down below because i actually like it so i put that on my body like after when i had got my surgery i ended up putting that on some of my scars after they healed up it kind of helped to heal my scars i lotioned my stomach with it say so yeah, i'm hit y'all up later i'm really upset because my phone is dead and i don't have my charger on me right now i was gonna go get a faha today because i needed a stage three faha to be honest but i don't really feel like it <laughs> and i'll probably do that on monday they're closed on sunday so i won't get to do it tomorrow i will see y'all later oh my god this looks it doesn't look that bad but it does look a little red so I will see y'all at the nail shop. I'm really glad that I didn't have to make an appointment. We could just do walk-in, so period. Hey, you guys. So I just got done kind of like browsing around. I wanted to buy some black heels and basically the ones that I showed y'all yesterday, I came back and I got those. I didn't find the boots, so I'm just gonna wear maybe all black tomorrow and just call that a day. Yeah, cause I couldn't really find like what exactly one I wanted to wear. I wanted to wear like all white with like silver or something like that but i still have time i'm about to get my toes done before you know i run out of time i could always like come back tomorrow real quick and look for a bag or something so she did my toes really really nice like it already looks really cute like i'm impressed and it's funny because remember i told y'all i'm going out to the club tomorrow with my homegirl so something about she's here now getting her freaking toes done say hey to the vlog kalisha it should go right there in the mirror right there boom <laughs> 